What is going on, beautiful people? Today, we're talking about how do narcissists get their supply? If you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist, and welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. So, welcome back, folks. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, yes, yes. How do narcissistic people get their supply? I know a lot of people see the word narcissistic supply. It, it, that's everywhere. It's probably one of the most searched terms, one of the most sought after terms in the like in the world of narcissistic abuse, toxic abuse, narcissism, or whatever. So, if you don't know what narcissistic supply is, it it really is just validation. It's a narcissistic person's need for validation, for their need to matter and whatnot. It's their need to damn near be alive. It keeps it keeps narcissistic people alive. It's like a battery. It's like a, a energy source, pretty much, for narcissistic people. Now, the way <laughs> it's funny to me, but not to somebody. It's funny to me, but not to other narcissists that, that see it. But the way a lot of people talk about narcissists, they basically like narcissists are like vampires feeding on the necks of empaths you know because people they type it in my comment section they'll be like narcissists have to feed to get supply like they're like, you know like they're like a, a like a fruit bat or a bat or something like that just lapping up the the supply blood of a narcissist of a of an empath or somebody around them but <laughs> to me it's funny how people talk about it but you know i can see how other people will take it as you know, i guess disrespectful or whatnot but how do they get that? How do they get that validation? How do they get that? Um, how do they get it? Where does it come from and whatnot? So it really, it really just depends. To me, just to me, as a diagnosed narcissist, there are different forms of supply. There are. I mean, supply could be um, recognition. Supply could be fame. It could be supply. Could be infamy. Supply doesn't have to be good stuff. It could be bad stuff too, y'all. Um, as long as that narcissistic person feels like they matter and they're leaving some type, some type of legacy around, supply could be some bad stuff. Supply could be infamy. Supply, supply could be committing a crime. Supply could be financial. Supply could be getting validation for how they look. Supply could be, you know, just be having somebody around, just proof that I'm proof that I matter by having kids. That you can, you, the kids can be supply. The job can be supply. I know people typically refer to supply as being a person, but it doesn't have to be a person, y'all. It can be, the new supply could be a job. The new supply could be a hobby. The new supply could be, you know, a career choice or something along those lines. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person, but how do they go about doing it? Some narcissists get supply through, you know, some narcissists get their supply by being mean. <laughs> you mean, some narcissists, they take it. They take the supply. They don't earn it. They take it. You know, when I said earlier, some narcissistic people get their supply through bad deeds, through, you know, criminalistic behaviors, through acting up, through being bad people, through scamming, through being a con artist and things of that nature. If y'all, you know, this, not, this channel is not to get political. But there are a whole bunch of political narcissists around, like po po politicians that are narcissistic people. You, you see them popping up when they get committed, or they get convicted of crimes, or they get impeached, or they get uh, not impeached, but um, when they get um, what do you call it, indicted and things like that. Like you see your boy uh, Menendez, the Democrat dude, and then you just see Santos, the Republican dude. Like Santos, boy, that. Did, <laughs> but you see. He get his Santos got his supply from just being on TV. He definitely was lying. He knew he was lying. He knew he knew he was lying to the world. That's why he had that little slight smile on his face. Anytime he'd be on TV, he's like, "Well, I lied and I got her. So what are you gonna do about it? I'm not re I'm not resigning. So it's right there. This is not to get political. Don't hop in a conversation and be like, blah 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 blah. blah. The Democrats, the Republicans. Uh, this is not to get political. This is just showing an example of it. How some people can use bad things to get supply. The dude getting gold bars from Egypt or whatever, allegedly. And then you got the other dude over here just lying his ass off on his resume and lying about achievements and accomplishments to get supply, to, to smile on TV, to be in the notoriety. You know, when you see people say um, there's no such, no such thing as bad press, 
a, any attention is good attention, that's narcissist. They talk about narcissistic people because, like, if you're getting bad attention and you like it, you crave it, that's narcissism. That's narcissistic right there, especially if it's a person. A company is different. There can be there can be company narcissism around, but but people are going to be different in that space right there, you know, because uh, you get a, a person like that who goes after infamy regardless through any means necessary. You get people who commit these mass, you know, unalivings that um, want to live in infamy. They want their name to be remembered. You know, they go do something to at a school and they, cause they want to be remembered and things like that. That's supply for them. That's weird that type of tip, toxic dynamic, but that's supply. They get it through by taking it. They get supply through force. You know, they force it. So supply can be through force, you know, they really absolutely can take their supply through forcing it, through stealing, through through manipulation, through you know being conniving, being ga gaslighting, manipulating, lying. You know, they get supply through love bombing you and tricking you. Some narcissistic people don't do good things to get supply, y'all. They can do bad things. They can lie, manipulate their way to the top, and then become, you know, the whole time they're getting supply, even if they get in trouble for it. You know, the trouble sometimes is is the supply. You see, they get whatever supply they're after, fame, infamy, money, whatever it is, love, whatever it is, emotional connection, legacy, legacy supply, whatever it is. They can get it. They can get that through bad deeds as well. Y'all, they don't have to be good. They don't have to go through good deeds to do that type of stuff. But on the other side of things, some narcissists get their supply through doing good stuff, through good doing do, through doing good deeds, through just being conventionally attractive you know you can be you, you, sometimes you don't even have to work hard to get supply you can just be conventionally attractive you can be just be you know what, what you can just be um, have a nice body have a nice face you know whatever it is you can get supply through being attractive people oh you look so cute you're so cute you're so beautiful look at you blah, 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 blah. you know that's supply you know that's narcissistic supply right there that's validation you see, people can give you money for looking good, you know, in the, in that space right there. So you like you can get a financial supply and adoration, the adoration supply right there in that space just from being born a certain type, being born a certain type of look. They, you didn't have to work, you didn't have to work hard to get your genetics. You, you, maybe on a cellular level, you had to work hard to get your genetic code like the way it is to look good, but you didn't have to work hard as an adult a lot of times. I mean, I know eating right and working hard, working out is not easy to do, so I understand that space, but yeah. Other, you were born with this look, you know what I mean? With the genetics you have, you don't, you don't have to work hard to get that. You know, some people get supply through being charismatic, through being funny. You know, and I say, when I say charismatic and funny, People automatically think it's just like, oh, that's good, a good form of supply. No, being charismatic and funny, you can poke fun at people, you can joke on people, you can make other people laugh at some per another person person's expense, and that's bad to that person. But you're still getting supply from that. You know, you can be charismatic and funny in a good way and still get supply. But sometimes you can be charismatic, funny, and <laughs> and evil. You know, and still get supply from that. That's just the way it works. Sometimes, a lot of times in these spaces, like there's no. There's no end or just one way that narcissists, narcissists get supply, y'all. It can be supply in different forms, in different formats and things of that nature. So you just got to be wary and be on the lookout for the type of stuff because they will go through any means possible to get their supply. You know, like I said, they, they, they just do all the type of stuff like that. Like sometimes they can just be charming to get supply. Just be charming. Just be being nice, y'all. Can get supply. Oh, you're such a nice person. You have so you so well mannered. You have such good manners. That's getting supply. That's getting validation. If you're consistently doing that, you know, it's just different ways to go about doing it. Like you can get you can get supply through just having money. Yeah, some people don't have to work hard to get money. Again, sometimes you can you get born with what they call it um, a silver or gold with platinum spoon in your mouth. So you didn't have to work hard to get money. So you already got money. You just use your money to get supply. And sometimes, again, y'all, you can do that in a bad way. You can use your money to get people hurt. You can use your money, you use your money to get con to control people. You can use your, your your position of power to control people, which is because you have money. Sometimes you didn't have to work for, you know? That happens right there all the time. Like, control is a form of supply as well. So if you are, the, you know, you can get supply through being the head of a company, through being the head of a household. Just, it doesn't have to be head of a company to get that control supply. You be just head of a household. 
You can just control your your family members, your family dynamic. You can control them going in and outside the house. You can control them doing that type of stuff right there. It, that's control as well. That's a controlling form of supply too, y'all. So it, it goes, it kind of crosses that line into that space right there where that's a form of supply too. So narcissistic people, there it's, it's unlimited ways to get supply. But if you think about it, supply is validation. And I'll end the video with this right here. In order to get a narcissistic person to leave you alone, a lot of the time, this doesn't work all the time, figure out what type of supply that they are getting from you and cut that off. I might do a longer video on this. You made it this far, you want me to do a longer video on cutting off the supply. Just put a little hand raise emoji in, uh, or just a hand in the comment section. Let me know if you want me to do a longer video. Um, but yeah, because that, like I said, just cut whatever supply that they're getting from you be it adoration, be it control, financial, whatever it is, whatever form of supply that they're getting from you, figure out a way to cut that off or remove that. And that can help you break through that space right there. You know, they can help you get through that dynamic right there. They can help you get this person possibly to leave you alone. Like I said, it's not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee, but, um, but it's possible. So thank y'all for tuning into another episode, y'all. Make sure you like and subscribe for more. And of course, y'all, Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. You are a mental healness rock star and I appreciate you for being here. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the screen to subscribe to the channel and watch another one of my videos on my playlist. There's also a link available up here for you to purchase my kids, but remember it's not your fault on Amazon. So check that out. Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Peace.